All right, we have reached tribulation day 167. And the world continues to spiral downwards into chaos. Last couple of days, there's been, uh, I guess what you would call, good news on the uh, global economic stage. Word out of the EU is that they've worked out some kind of a flim-flam, skim-scam plan that to bail out Greece and some banks, stabilize some banks. Supposedly somebody has to eat, you know, the smallest number I heard was about $140 billion in losses. But, uh, truth be told, it's all smoke and mirrors. And, uh, you know, in today's computerized digital world, some highfalutin banker type gets on the computer, hits a few keystrokes, and adds, you know, 10 or 11 zeros to uh, somebody's bank account. So, you know, the stock market may have gone up, you know, whatever it was, a couple hundred points the other day, but I will tell you, get the hell out of the stock market. The economic collapse is still coming. You know, smoke and mirrors is not going to solve anything. So, you know, economically here in the U.S., you know, we got our... Uh, stupid committee, I mean the super committee, which hasn't really solved or agreed to anything. We got the Disarm America booby trap set to go off in November. That was part of the legislation that our clueless government passed this last summer. They called it the debt ceiling bill, but it was really the Disarm America, Destroy America bill. Um... You know, the Middle East is just a complete mess. We got all the Islamic countries along the northern rim of Africa, Egypt, Tanzania, Libya, probably Yemen eventually, all kind of voting in Islamic governments where Sharia law rules the day. And, uh, you know, I'm not saying I actually have a big problem with Sharia law, but, you know, I live in America and I believe in freedom, you know, live free or die. And even in this great country of America, you know, I tend to be a rebel or a person that, you know, feels there's too many laws, rules, and regulations. So, in that regard, I don't really view Sharia law as being this awesome thing, you know, because I feel like ultimately I probably don't want to live under Sharia law. And uh, therefore, you know, to me, you know, the other country, Iran, is basically spreading its wings. And Syria, you know, is this big festering wound where the people continue to rise up and protest. And, uh, you know, one way or another, things are going to come to a head. You know, I think there's going to be, you know, some unrest and probably military type activities terrorist type stuff happening anywhere from Syria to Iraq to Iran because there's a whole lot of forces in there you know especially Iran 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 and Iran trying to gain control and uh, you know ultimately at some point in time they're all gonna focus on Israel and use the Palestinian situation to you know exploit the whole situation for their advantage. So, I don't know. I just, I see really dark days. I don't think our president's plan of withdrawing all of our troops out of the Middle East and being, having like no influence, I don't think that's a good idea. But that's just, I think, the way it's destined to be, to go. Around the world, you know, still got volcanoes everywhere. You know, several in South America. There's the one El Hierro over in the Canary Islands, which is off of Spain. We got volcanoes in Iceland, in Russia, in uh, Yugoslavia. They're everywhere. They're in Thailand. There's earthquakes going off everywhere today. We just had another 6.9. You know, uh, the northeastern 
coast of America. My cousins out there, Carl, Eric, and all you guys, you're getting, uh, you know, a storm of the century in the next couple of days where, you know, you're going to have a foot of snow in October. And, of course, there's flooding everywhere else in Thailand, Bangkok. You know, another little article I just saw was, you know, the, the Mayan calendar ended, supposedly, today, or yesterday. And I guess technically, to some, it still ends in t 2012, but supposedly somebody did some kind of recalculation using a computer and said, oh, they messed up, and it was actually either today or yesterday. But ultimately, the world didn't end. So the article I saw was basically saying, hey, the Mayans were wrong. But you know what? I'm not so quick to write off the Mayans or the end of their calendar. Because I think, you know, we're still going through some kind of crazy, you know, planetary change. And the weather is just another verification of that. I think the sun, the solar flares, the sunspots, the, the, the effect it's having on the earth, the radiation, the magnetism, you know, man, there's still way more crazier stuff coming. Including maybe some flybys of, you know, some kind of mysterious planets or satellites or whatever through our solar system. Of course, I've been saying that, you know, but we'll see. You know, we're in October. We're almost into November. But I still think a global economic collapse is coming. A restructuring of the global monetary system, you know, with maybe just seven zones or something, you know, like the year, the Amero zone where, you know, America, Mexico, and Canada, we all share a currency, and, you know, the Europe zone shares their currency, and, you know, maybe there's the Asia zone, but it probably all gets linked back to a gold standard. You know, locally here in San Jose, you know, weather's been kind of nice. It's always kind of nice. All right, man. Hang in there. I'm hanging in there. I'm hanging by my nails. Brighter days might be ahead, but I doubt it. All right, rock on, everybody. Peace.